Unless you have a team of friends, you shoot video alone. And the hardest part of shooting alone is to get shots of yourself that are actually visually interesting. Of course, you've got the classic locked off shots or the vlogging handheld shots like these. But how many times have you actually seen a shot just like this one that has been shot solo? Well, today I'm gonna to be showing you how you can get your own shots just like this one, super duper creative while shooting all by yourself. Let's run through the equipment. You'll need a flying camera, commonly known as a drone. Having a DJI drone with the active track feature can definitely be a bonus, however, we won't be relying on it entirely today though, so any brand can actually get the job done. You'll then in turn need a good place to fly it with a whole lot of confidence. Well, either confidence or willingness to crash. Then finally, you'll possibly need an audio recorder. This is depending on whether you plan on talking or not during your shots. Now for the execution side of things. Honestly, it's pretty damn easy. In fact, it's actually so easy that I put it into three very simple steps for you to follow. Movement is best seen when there is an object in between the camera and the subject. This could honestly be a tree, another person, or even just the ground up close. So when you get to your location, try and look around and see if there's anything that could creatively get in the way of your frame. After you've established the basics of showing movement, you need to actually introduce it into your shot. Now obviously there are hundreds and thousands of ways to actually show the movement in your shot. However, here are a few beginner and then intermediate ones that you can try and practice for yourself. The key to making these shots look the best they can is to fly similar to how a secondary shooter would move. That means the closer to the ground and the objects you are, the better the final result is going to come out. Now that we're achieving an interesting shot as a whole, it's important to know that the audience could get distracted because you know, there's so much movement and stuff going on in the shot. So there's a few things you need to do to be able to combat this and make sure the audience are locked on you as the subject. Firstly, try to add a little bit of subtle movement to yourself. You can do this by walking towards or away from the camera, being in a moving car or object, or just literally anything that moves. This is where DJI's Active Track feature comes in really, really handy because you can just lock onto yourself as the subject, start concentrating on the shot and what you're saying, and realistically just makes it a whole lot easier than trying to do this all manually. This is still completely possible without Active Track, of course, it's just that it's a complete pain in the ass. The second way to keep the focus on yourself as the subject is to isolate yourself from the background. You can try standing at high points so the bright sky makes your silhouette stand out, or try wearing opposing colored clothing to your background. I'm sure by now you've seen literally millions of the photos of the yellow raincoats on the dark stormy days. They're plastered over Instagram, like you cannot miss them. But the reason that they're so popular is because they're so effective in actually isolating the subject from the background. This one's optional in the sense of if you don't want to be talking during your shot, you can just take the previous two steps, practice them over and over and over, and then you'll be starting to produce some amazing and awesome B-roll or filler shots pretty damn quickly. However, if you have the commitment to pull off one of these piece to camera shots, I think it is beyond worth it. Philip Bloom often does it in his videos, especially his drone ones, and is actually the complete inspiration for this video, of course. Now, before you start talking, you're gonna to need to grab your lab microphone, plan out what you're actually gonna say during the segment, and then take steps one and two and mash them together with this one. This is 100% one of the most difficult shots to get as it requires a lot of time, a lot of patience, a lot, lot of battery, and uh, definitely a lot of fails. Along with that though, please, for the love of God, make sure you're recording on both the drone and whatever audio device you're using. However, once you've cracked all of the steps, you ought to start getting insanely creative shots all on your own and be able to add them to your story to help fuel them forward. So that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Make sure to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next video. Cheers.